anxiety as IPOP Eastern Security Network launches homemade remote control rockets. There was palpable anxiety yesterday as the newly launched Eastern Security Network ESN showcased their homemade remote control rocket launcher. While it feels great to know a technology of such magnitude can be made in Africa. It's indeed worrying that it's done by the proscribed group indigenous people of Biafra. It will be recalled that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namdekano, had some days back launched the Eastern Security Network, which, according to him, was modeled after other security outfits in the West and in the North, although majority of those in the East welcomed this idea. Others were skeptical about its modus operandi. They believed any security outfit not backed by the law shouldn't be allowed to stand. However, IPOP has often defended her action, citing the threat of insecurity in the East. According to reports, the Southeast governors have since condemned the formation of this newly formed security outfit and asked for it to be scrapped. Even Ohanese Indigo, the Igbo sociocultural group, seems to be on the same page with the Eastern governors. Going by the latest statements credited to them, credited to the group. However, the Yoruba Social Cultural Group, Afeniferi, has since thrown its weight behind the newly formed Eastern Security Network. Before the release of the video portraying the launching of the remote controlled rocket launcher, the Eastern Security Network were earlier in another video seen carrying rockets propel grenade ROPG as they move around the forest in the east. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? You better don't be surprised because the Igbos that you see are talented in technology. Maybe you don't know. That is what we don't know. They are well talented in technology and they are well skilled. Have you forgotten the Biafran war? They built an armored vehicle which is still in existence till today. All the weapons they used in fighting during the war was built and constructed by them. They never went for any, any foreign weapon, even when they still have access to get to get it. Because Odumebu Ojuku is known to be one of the finest studios, well known and respected both home and abroad. So there is no way he can order for any foreign weapon that he will not be given. But he looked at it and said, we need our own weapon to fight this war. So I'm not surprised. That same spirit, that same spirit, that same blood that existed in the, in the, in the Biafran Soldiers in 1967 still run in the blood of the present Biafrans. Have you forgotten that some of these Biafrans now are giving birth during that during the war. Why some of them, the parents gave birth to them after the war, so they grew up to be having this in the same talent. That is why they say blood is thicker than water. 
But then, looking at it on a natural ground, Igbos are naturally skilled. Naturally. Look at, look at it. In, um, innocent motors that we know today that mm -hmm. is still working very hard to see that um, made in Nigerian vehicle is known and appreciated in Nigerian even if Nigerian government has not been doing anything to see to the quick development of, um, of our country is owned and controlled by an Igbo man. You understand? Okay? Is owned and controlled by an Igbo man. You understand? You can imagine the kind of vehicle that the company has been producing. Can't you see that? Can't you see that? It is only an Igbo man that will say that we are going to maintain a made in Nigerian owned product and I will agree and say you are correct. Not the person of President Mulberry that will tell you that if not a made in Nigerian goods, it will be no other other goods. He said all of that before he came to power. But are we practicing that now? No, we are not. So what is this? What are we talking about? Why the story that touch? <laughs> uh, my viewers, the president is just toiling us around, making us look like a fool, but we are not fools. We are not fools, and we can never be. Do you understand? We can never be. Enough is enough. Do you understand? That is why it is said that the Eastern Security, the Eastern Security Network has come to stay so no one can stop it. At this juncture, I will say God bless Mazen Namdekanu and also protect the Eastern Security Network in this journey. Okay, um, may Chukwu Kike Abiyama, you know, continue to protect and guide these um, vigilantes, not be a front army. He said, he said, he said, thank you for listening. My viewers, if you know that you are happy for be a friends, deem it fit to leave your comments below this comment section click on the subscription button as well as bell button to receive more updates thank you